Hey and welcome to Neverwinter with Aragon. So welcome to the Masquerades of Liars event, the Halloween event for Neverwinter. And this year we have a new vanity pet and also a new team which we can go and join. Now some decent rewards that you can obtain is this broomstick mount and also splinters, the broomstick companion. There is also wandering scarecrow and also a skeleton companion that you can also get as some decent rewards, at least for new players who are still leveling up and gearing up your characters. There is also some event food which you can grind, mainly just pumpkin soup. And then of course there's a whole bunch of different masks that you can go and grind out if you so desire. So how do you begin this event? Well you simply head to this NPC within Protector's Enclave, this event area here, and you go and you pick up the quests you get from him. If you haven't ever done this event, those initial quests will be golden. Now what you're going to be required to do is head over to the contest manager here and he'll ask you to go and pick one of these team, whether it be the maze masters with this pumpkin head scarecrow, whether it be the madcap mashers with this red cap guy here, or these witches right here. So you can choose one of those following teams. Now it doesn't particularly matter, but if you're fast, you may as well join your guild in choosing one of the teams. And if you win, then you get a free visage, a free permanent visage. Those of you who don't win, well, you can always go and and purchase this visage for some astral diamonds after the event is over. And when you put this visage in your hot bar, you can simply go and turn into that said team representative like this werewolf was about two years ago. Now I've chosen this team, so he will give me a bunch of these repeatable quests that I can go and fill out. Now, once you've completed 15 of those daily quests, you're basically joined the team. If you haven't completed the minimum of 15 quests, then you won't obtain the free visage if your team does win. As for whether it's worth it to grind out those actual quests, well that's up to you. In my opinion, it's not too great. There is better ways and I found the easiest way is to be in an empty instance of Protector's Enclave, ideally, but they're usually pretty full. What you need to do is go to these pumpkins that are dotted around and they'll give you a liar's charm. You take this charm and you head to one of these guys with the icon above their head, this pumpkin with the witch's hat, and you basically go and you give them that charm and he will give you in return this bag of goods and within it you'll be able to obtain the masquerade tokens and also some other reagents that you'll need to obtain the other rewards. We'll pop over here to this masquerade vendor and you can see the main currency is these masquerade tokens and these are mainly obtained through these bags of illusionist goods. You can of course exchange your liar's charms one to one for a masquerade token but in my opinion that's not worth it. Now amongst these rewards some things I do recommend picking up at least for new players is this enchanted broom mount. It comes out on epic. It will cost you 50,000 astral diamonds, 600 of these masquerade tokens. You'll also need to get those enchanted bristles which will come from these bags of goods as you can see down there in the bottom and you will also need a gnarled broomstick which will cost you another 200 masquerade tokens meaning this enchanted broom will cost you 800 of them but you will be farming the bristles anyway so you'll have to open a whole bunch of these bags of goods and finally most frustratingly you'll need an enchanted witch's sash now what you can do is save up 500 of these masquerade tokens for the end of this event and when the event is over you'll be able to simply purchase that which is sash for 500 of those tokens and finally get your enchanted broom but that's when the event is over now you can also get this wandering scarecrow it's pretty expensive in terms of those masquerade tokens and you'll need six masks each one setting you back 200 tokens so that's 1200 tokens and there is this skeleton companion it's on green rarity for 600 tokens and also the green splinters companion for another 600 i'm going to test them out as summoned 
companion in another video. Otherwise, there is this artifact, the Empowered Illusionist Mask. When you open a goods bag for the first time, you will obtain one of these Illusionist Masks. Now, to go and refine it up, you will need those mementos which you will get from those daily quests. You can see that the daily quests from this main NPC will be the one that gives you those mementos and you'll need those to upgrade that mask so be sure to farm those daily quests if you're interested in getting this mask ranked up which you'll need it ranked it up to be able to go and trade it in you can see for this empowered illusionist mask you'll need that to be that illusionist mask which we can see is its title when it's on legendary which is the maximum rank you can't refine it any further now you will also need those other reagents like the veil of mists and on the veil of shadows now those reagents will get from opening these bags of illusionist goods you can see there we got a veil of mists you can use it as your primary artifact sure sure so we go and use it there and we change into whatever horrifying creature gelatinous cube it will basically reduce the threat that you generate and that's it otherwise you can trade it in for a thousand tokens as well masquerade tokens and get this artifact which is a bit better although it's only on green rarity so you'll have to spend things to upgrade it but it can be okay especially for starter players basically making it so you'll deal extra damage against enemies after you cast it Otherwise, there is this mini Simon, which is new. It's just a vanity pet. It'll follow you around. And then there are all of these horrifying masks that you can pick up. You can pick up this dye pack, of course. These potions are just for gimmicks. You can, of course, purchase these companions, save them up. When you also open these goodie bags, you will obtain those beholder piñatas those beholder piñatas unfortunately is the method to obtain that actual witch's sash if you want to get it early the drop chance on it is so minuscule and with those beholder piñatas you can obtain various goods we'll go and pop some open we use it and it spawns on the ground and then we can go and simply kill it and it'll drop the goods on the ground there we go and we just get a bunch of junk there and some pumpkin soup pumpkin soup will give you crit chance crit severity unfortunately pumpkin soup still wasn't updated it should give five percent crit chance and five percent crit severity that might get updated sometime in the future instead of going to each of these pumpkins and getting those liars charms you can of course go and just kill enemies but that again is just going to be really down to whether you want to be grinding enemies and the drop chance again is only like 10 percent so it's much easier to just farm pumpkins like that to get these goodie bags so yes as you can see it's pretty much useless to go and farm those quests the only reason you would do so is to try and get one of the teams to win to get a free visage although of course you will need to use those daily quests to be able to refine up that artifact thank you to all of my channel members for help and finally i'd like to give a major thank you to all of my channel members for helping me keep my channel going and if i presented this well consider leaving the video a like and if you're new around here consider subscribing we'll see you guys around goodbye for now